This is part 35 of AngularJS tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss two simple but useful features in Angular, case insensitive match and inline templates. First, let's look at case insensitive match. Let's understand this with an example. Let's flip to Vision Studio. By default, the routes that are configured using the config function are case sensitive. Look at the route right here, slash courses, it's all in lowercase letters. So if we try to navigate to slash courses, again, all lowercase letters, the page works as expected. Now let's see what's going to happen if we try to navigate to slash courses with all uppercase letters. Look at this. The moment I hit enter, Angular is redirecting us back to slash home. And that's because by default, routes are case sensitive. So in this case, Angular is thinking that slash courses with all uppercase letters is a route that is not configured. And the reason it's redirecting to slash home is because we have this otherwise section configured. Let's comment this section. And let's reload our page. And then now let's try to navigate to slash courses again with all uppercase letters. This time, it didn't redirect us to slash home. We are on slash courses, but we have a blank layout page. And again, this is because by default, routes are case sensitive. So Angular doesn't know about this route slash courses with all uppercase letters. That's why we see a blank page. Now, we want all our routes to be case insensitive. To make a route case insensitive, all you have to do is set case insensitive match property to true. So in this case, we are setting that for slash home, but we want it for slash courses. So let's do that. So within our config function for this route slash courses, I'm going to set case insensitive match to true. All right, so let's save our changes and let's reload our app. So I'm pressing Control R to reload and look at that. Slash courses with all uppercase letters is working as expected. But then the other routes, slash home, slash students, they are still case sensitive. Look at that. When we go to slash home with all lowercase letters, it works. When we go to slash home with uppercase letters, we again have the same problem. Okay. If you want all the routes to be case insensitive, then instead of setting case insensitive match property to true like this on an individual route, set it on the dollar route provider itself. So on dollar route provider, let's set case insensitive match to true. And we can get rid of this from here because we have already set it on dollar route provider. So let's save our changes. And let's reload our app. Look at that. Slash home with all uppercase letters is working. Slash students, again, with all uppercase letters is working. And slash courses with lowercase letters. And mix of uppercases, uh, uppercase and lowercase, you know, it's working. So that's case insensitive match. Inline templates. Now, if you look at all the routes that we have here, the view content for all these routes is coming from a separate HTML file. For slash home, it's coming from home.html. For slash courses, courses.html. For slash students, students.html. So all these are separate HTML files. Now the question is, should the view content be always coming from a separate HTML file? Not necessarily. The view content can also be in line. Now, to specify the view content is coming from a separate HTML file, we use template URL property. If you want to use inline templates, then you can use template property instead of template URL. So we use template property, and then we specify our inline template content right here. So let's say we want an H1 element, and within that, we want to display this message, inline template in action. Let's close the H1 element. Let's save our changes. So we have specified an inline template for slash home. So at the moment, we are on slash courses. Let's reload our app by pressing Control R. And look at this. When I go to slash home, look at what we see now. We see the inline template um, in action string there. So you can either use an inline template 
or an external template you know a separate HTML file if you want to use you know a separate HTML file then you use template URL property if you want to use an inline template then you use template property thank you for listening and have a great day